Setting up an environment for TypeScript development in Visual Studio Code with Node with debugging is still a mystery. Actually, it's not a mystery. There's a ton of information out there showing you how to do it. The problem is that uh, TypeScript changes so quickly that the information gets outdated. If you look up a Stack Overflow answer, every one of these answers negates the previous one. It sometimes drives you mad. And I've been doing TypeScript for a while, but how often do I set up new projects? Not very often. I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible and as simply as possible to see if I can alleviate any issues out there. Okay, so I'm gonna start things off by creating a brand new folder for my project, make directory, TS dev. Let's go in there, TS dev, and open this up in Visual Studio Code. Here in VS Code, I'm going to press Control Backtick to open up the terminal, and I'm gonna check what version of Node I have. Right now it's on 16. I'm gonna switch it to 18 using NVM, which is Node Version Manager, and that's gonna be NVM Use 18, and now I'm using Node Version 18. By the way, I have a video on how to set this up right down there in the description, right below the like button. And subscribe if you're not already. Why, why are you missing out? Don't miss out. Now, what's next? I have an empty project here. Well, how do you create a brand new project? Use npm init. npm init will initialize the project for you. You can fill out all this stuff. I just press enter a bunch of times until it's done. See, I'm not even looking. And now I have a package.json file here. Boom, ready to go. That means I have now a node project. Now I want this to be a TypeScript project. So I wanna make sure that I have TypeScript installed. npm install-g TypeScript. If you didn't do that yet, do that, okay? I've already done it, doesn't matter if I do it again. Now, when you have TypeScript installed, you have TSC command, the TypeScript compiler. That's available now on the terminal, and if I do TSC version, I have 4.9.4. .4. Now that I have TSC, I can also do init, or it's not like the npm init, here you need to do dash dash init, but wait, we're not done yet. You can just initialize this project. I'll, you know what, I'll just show you. If you run that, you'll get a tsconfig file. This is the default one, but we don't want the default one. We want a couple of extra options in here. TSC init dash dash source map. We want source maps in there so that we can map the compiled JavaScript back to the original source files, which is the TypeScript files. Then we want the root directory. This is where we're going to keep our source TypeScript files. Let's call that SRC. And we want the output directory to be something else too. Let's call it dist. This is where the compiled JavaScript is gonna go, the transpiled JavaScript, I should say. Oops, it's not source maps, it's source map. Cool. Now we have a TypeScript config file, which means that this is now a TypeScript project. And if you look through here, you'll see all those options that I've selected, including root directory, source map, and out directory. Good, we need those directories. Let's create an SRC directory for our source, and let's create a disk directory. You know what? I'm not gonna create the disk directory just yet, because I wanna show you something else. Source, I'm gonna go in there and create index.ts. Boom. Let's do a console log. Uh, hello. So here we have a TypeScript file. I'm going to put a breakpoint there. And in order to run something in VS Code or to debug it, you go to this tab, right? Or you can go up here to run and start debugging or press F5. Any one of those things will do. But I want to go here to show you something. When you go to this tab, you have run and debug or you have this to customize and run and debug, create a launch.js file. We're going to need to do that because if you just hit run and debug, well, you can do that. But we're going to run into a situation here in a second that I'm going to show you with modules. So it's better to create a launch launch configuration, and you do that using this button, create a launch.json file. So I'm gonna click on that, and you wanna select Node.js. Okay, now here, make sure that your program is going to be set to workspace folder source index.ts. That's okay for now, and that's gonna be the default, but it's not going to work if you wanna add more files, more TypeScript files, which of course you're gonna to wanna to do because it's a project, right? But let me show you this. You run this and it works, great, but what happens when you add another file? Let's say you have a file, uh, let's call it chicken.ts, and you have a class here called chicken, and the chicken clucks, that's what they do chickens, they tend to cluck. So let's uh, console log cluck. Okay, now we have a chicken class, perfectly good TypeScript class. How do we use it in here? We can say const chicken equals new chicken. VS Code is nice enough to import that for me. Everything looks good. There's no TypeScript compilation errors or anything. And we go chicken cluck, boom. And what happens when we run this? Let's run this. Oh, we got an error. And look at this. It says warning to load an ES module set type module in package.json. Don't do that. You might go in there and start messing around with 
with package.json and that's not gonna work, okay? You're gonna end up on the same Stack Overflow page that I just showed you. It's gonna bounce back and forth between different people giving you different answers. Also, by the way, ChatGPT doesn't know how to do this yet either. <laughs> I checked. <laughs> so don't use ChatGPT either for this. It's gonna give you the wrong answer. Here's what you do. First of all, in launch.json, we have, we're pointing to source but we actually need to be pointing to our destination. That's the compiled file. We don't have the compiled file yet, do we? Nope. So we're gonna go back to our terminal and we're going to compile the TypeScript by typing in TSC, which is the TypeScript compiler. It's going to use the TypeScript configuration file that we've set up to look at the source, transpile that source, and create this disk directory automatically. And look at that. We have our JavaScript files in there and we have our map files, our source maps that point back to TypeScript. Now that we have that disk directory, let's go back to launch.json and here we're going to point to dist index.js not ts okay now if we go back here and launch we're able to debug and we're able to use multiple files because it's a project and if we do our clucking there we go we say hello and then we say cluck very cool what happens if we want to change what the chicken says cluck hi okay let's see cluck hi i'm gonna launch this again and run it and oh why is my output still cluck that's not cool oh i forgot to uh compile it well let's compile it again shall we now if i compile it again now we get cluck high but do i really want to be compiling or transpiling or running the typescript compiler every single time i make a little change in my typescript code no i don't want to do that what i want to happen is i want a typescript watch process to automatically watch any changes that happen in my typescript and recompile my javascript for me let's do that first of all let's go back to the terminal and i'm going to install a copy of TypeScript locally into my project. So we have package.json here. We don't have any dependencies here. It's a simple project, okay? It's just a chicken. <laughs> so I'm gonna do npm install dash dash save dev. It's a dev dependency. And I'm gonna say TypeScript. So this is going to install, first of all, it's gonna create a new section called dev dependencies, if you don't have one already. And then it's gonna install TypeScript in there. Now in VS Code, I'm gonna press F1. And I'm gonna look for this thing that says tasks configure default build tasks. If you don't see that, maybe I see it because I've recently used it, but just search for it, start typing tasks, and then configure default build task, and press enter on that one when it's selected. And then you wanna select the one that says uh, TSC watch. Because you already have TS config in there, it knows that that's, that may be something you wanna do. So TSC watch is the one we wanna configure. Press enter on that. And this creates a brand new file called tasks.json. So it's a TypeScript type of task. Oh my God, that's hard to say. Try saying it, go ahead right now. Nobody's around, nobody's watching you, you can do it. Option is watch problem matcher all this is set up for you you don't need to do anything here we're good to go so all you need to do here is press f1 and then tasks run build task and when you do that it creates a new instance of a terminal and it starts watching your changes Ooh. okay let's test this out uh, let's go back to our index and start debugging there we go and we got cluck high. What happens if we go back to chicken and say cluck chicken? Save that and let's debug again. And look at that. We didn't need to do another TypeScript compilation. It just prints out the latest. And we have a running watchful eye, watching our TypeScript code, recompiling it, retranspiling it. I keep saying compile. It's TypeScript compiler, but it's really transpilation. Ah, potato, potato. There you go. Was that easy? Was that quick? It wasn't super quick, was it? But it was easy. Hopefully this uh, method helps you out. And uh, yeah, good luck. Thanks for watching. I'll be back. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet.